Hello everybody, welcome to some more BD Armoury. Today we are taking a look at engine choices for your fighter craft. Uh, here I am flying around in one of my tiger tails. Um, it's a craft I designed a while ago as a replacement to my first kind of unorthodox craft, the Dragonfly, and I always felt that this craft kind of underperformed and I was never sure why that is, but um, today we're going to see if giving it a little bit more power will help. Now, at the moment, this craft uses the Panther engine. It's the uh, it's the basic after burning jet engine which comes with the uh, with the base game. Um, but BD Armory introduces a couple of interesting new engines in the sort of the 1.25 meter size. There's the uh, the Saturn engine, which we'll be uh, taking a look at mainly. I don't know. We might get to see the Cheetahs as well, which is another interesting uh, engine option which BD Armory introduces. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's get to the space plane hangar and see if we can't give the Tiger Tail a little bit of an upgrade. Here we are then. Uh, I've brought up the engineer's report because that's going to give us some uh, some interesting info over there. Um, I also need to bring up the, uh, the center of mass and center of lift overlay because I suspect we'll be tampering with the center of mass a fair bit. So the first thing to do is if we bring up the engines. Um, that's not the right one. So here you can see the Panther. Basic, standard, after-burning turbojet, as I said, comes with the base game. Um, so 1.2 tons, uh, stationary th thrust, uh, 130 kilonewtons at best. And if we scroll down and have a look at the Saturn, yeah, it's quite a lot better. And also it's got um, a better ISP on it as well. So we want to swap out the Panther for one of the Saturns. Uh, now, with the change in mass, that is going to change the vehicle a bit. But yeah, let's just go ahead and stick one of those on there. Hasn't changed things too much so far. One of the other things I want to do is to go into our little compartment. Here, this is one of the earliest craft I um, earliest craft I built. So I just we only really need the uh, the single uh, ammo box in there instead of the three I had in there at the time. So what's that done? We've lost nearly a ton of weight. That's going to help the maneuverability of the craft quite a lot. Let's take a look. Um, so we've got, yeah, the uh, the gimbal on the engine is on. Uh, no, let's not do that. That's what I want. Show actuation toggles. It's just the single engine, so roll. It's not really going to be doing anything anyway. Your... <sighs> You shouldn't really have your on your engine, so we're going to turn that off. It's just going to be pitch. So I think that's all the adjustments I wanted to make to the craft. The centre of mass has moved forward with respect to the centre of lift. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to change that. It's one of the problems with this craft is that the uh, the, the uh, because it's such a um, a short craft, these control surfaces are quite close to the uh, to the centre of um, centre of mass as it is. They don't have that much leverage over them. And if I move, say I was to move these uh, these wings forward, that would uh, that wouldn't help the situation. We're just going to go give it a test like that. Hopefully, the extra speed, extra manoeuvrability with the gimbling from this engine, and the reduction in weight should give it um, should give it quite a bit of extra oomph, a bit of extra manoeuvrability, and what have you. Um, and I think I know the perfect test for this craft. Now the most obvious way to test this craft would of course be to put these tweaked tiger tails up against the untweaked tiger tails. But I'm going for a slightly more thorough test this time. I'm going to put these tiger tails up against the craft that was sent to destroy them. Sent to kill them. My club tails. The craft which ended up replacing the tiger tails in my sort of... Uh, my main lineup of fighters, so let's get this one underway, uh, keeping a close eye on the tiger tails because they're not the most stable on the ground. Let's just, um, please take off okay, please take off okay, please take off okay. Oh! Okay. Anyway, so why am I doing this? Well, um, the next uh, Fighter Subscriber series isn't ridiculously far away and I've been reliably informed that some pretty hardcore gear aircraft designers will be entering the competition so I need to up my game with my own fighters uh, so this is a bit of an experiment I want to put in I'd love to do a very another very agile single engine craft maybe not this but this is sort of like as I said an experiment which, an experiment which will inform the design process so um, that's why I picked these ones primarily but also just to see how uh, some of the other craft get on with um, get on with the engine upgrade. What's what's going on here? Oh, let's just start the competition. 
Sorry, yeah, uh, BD Armory bugging out a bit there. Yeah, so hopefully, um, hopefully something a bit more lethal than the craft I've got at the moment. Uh, obviously, I've already uh, retired the Cyclone. That's now doing um, the pre duties in the preliminaries. But uh, I think the Panther. I think the Panther is the one that which really needs replacing the most. Although. Yeah, I think something maybe single engine also in the dragonfly family of craft, as the uh, as the tiger tail and club tails are. Both sets of craft quite easily avoiding the um, quite easily avoiding the amrams going back and forth. Now these are set up very differently to their uh, to the original craft. They uh, two missiles a target. Originally they were just uh, one missile a target. I didn't really know how to set up craft <laughs> earlier on. I think that's sort of. Uh, that's sort of the gist of it. Oh, that missile is getting a little close there. You can't really see it this range, but it did look like it might have a chance there. Both sets of craft should now be on to using their sidewinders, so we should be expecting a few more kills to come in very quickly. And there's the first one. First blood to the club tails. Daffy Kerman, though, will be looking to, uh, to right that wrong. I think she's already sent in a sidewinder, has she? Damage parts. One of the other tiger tails has had some damage done to it. This really is not good news. That uh, oh, one of the club tails has gone. It's kind of even, Stevens. We'll have to see what these uh, what these sidewinders do. Daffy Kerman though could really, really even things up here. Both of those club tails seem to be distracted by that other tiger tail. And uh, yeah, those those sidewinders not really seeming to track very well. Neither does that one. Oh, that looks like a perfect hit. And that's another hit by one of the other sidewinders. So what do you know? The tiger tails emerge victorious. Hmm. Who would have thunk it? Um. Anyway, let's uh. Let's see what other craft we can upgrade with uh, with some different engines. Now it's been a while since I've done any like serious ground attack stuff on this channel, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity. So I've taken my serpent, my kind of uh, lead ground attack craft at the moment. This isn't so much about experimentation for like future seasons of fighter subscribe and my own craft. This is just to see how much uh, how much better than an engine upgrade can make a craft. So uh, I've gone and switched out the panthers this craft normally has for Saturns and. Again, I'm going to try and give it a slightly tougher test. Well, I mean, I gave the Tiger Tails a slightly tougher test. I'm giving uh, giving the Serpent a very tough test because over here we have a little missile tank armed with Sidewinders. And I'm hoping that this really does give me the extra oomph I need to, to avoid Sidewinders. I have gone and... Um, redone all the countermeasures on this craft as well just to just to try and give me a fighting chance i think i know sort of how you can avoid sidewinders in this version of the game uh, this version of bd armory anyway yeah I'll, I'll get this taken off get it up to altitude get everything set up and i'll uh, i'll see you again in a second okay so we're heading in on an attack run we're about 10 kilometers away i set the uh set the little um tank to start firing at about eight kilometers so i'm going to see if i can pop up a few once it starts firing oh it's it's seen me you're going to fire at me there we go i'm pretty sure it's going to start firing at me pretty soon is Stop moving. There we go. Let's see if I have what it takes in this thing to avoid a sidewinder. Oh. Actually, putting some power into the uh, throttle might help. Where is that sidewinder gone? Okay. Seems to do pretty well. Why, why is my thing not pointing at the... Oh, it moved. Oh, you son of a... This may not go as well as I was hoping it would. Okay. Now, this thing should have a radar. K 
Can my harm missiles track it? No, they can't. I'm getting too close. This is really bad. <sighs> Good news, you can actually dodge side winders pretty easily if you're just flying the craft yourself. I need to realign this so I can... Yeah, having the craft so that can move... Oh, this is not good. Quickly, quickly, try and move. Okay. Try and get this over to... Um, realign. <laughs> oh god, before it kills me. Oh, damn, I didn't notice that. I think we're okay. Right. Is it still moving? It's still moving. That's just not fair. Hold still and let me kill you. Wow, I picked up a lot of altitude there. Oopsie daisy. Okay. Let's see if this works. Have some of this. Oh, I'm going very fast. Oh, this craft is not very controllable. But I did manage to kill the tank. And I did manage to avoid the Sidewinders incoming, so... Yeah. A couple of decent things out. I think these, um... I think the experiment was a success. I'm not sure how much of that was down to the uh, down to the Saturns. I think if I didn't have that extra oomph, I think some of those sidewinders would have got me. But yeah, let's um, let's see what else we can uh, quote unquote upgrade. So for our final little experiment, uh, we are going to take a look at the cheater engines. I said we uh, we might, so I thought we'd uh, thought we'd probably better. These are basically just the F twenty two engines. Um, so they've only got uh, one axis of gimbal that's sort of um, up and down. But obviously you can have them for pitch and you can have them for roll because they can go in both directions. So I have just stuck uh, a couple of these onto my cyclones, try and uh, breathe a bit more life into them. These probably won't actually be an official version. If I do anything with the cyclones, I'll stick the uh, the satins onto them probably. But uh, yeah, step that on. It does uh, again. It does push the uh, the center of mass a bit further forward. I haven't compensated with the center of lift um, for similar reasons to the uh, to the tiger tail. But yeah, I've uh, I've lined up three of these against three of the uh, the well the same version of the cyclone, but uh, with still with the panthers. So this is a bit more of a like for like test. Um, anyway, let's get this fight set up and let's get it started. And so our little competition begins. Both sets of craft will of course turn and start um, loosing the uh, loosing the old amrams. Um, yeah, so these, I don't think they're quite as powerful as the Saturns, but again, they're um, a huge improvement over the Panthers in terms of uh, in terms of thrust and efficiency. Daffy Kerman here, breaking low, popping plenty of chaff. Um, one adjustment I have made to these craft that I haven't made to the other uh, set is I've sort of... Uh, I'm using my sort of new um, countermeasure arrangement just to try and... Um, give the craft a fighting chance of avoiding sidewinders, which you can kind of do reasonably easily, but the the AI really hasn't mastered it. Um, for whatever reason. I just It still does the uh, the traditional sort of try to, trying to avoid AMRAMS technique of just um, flying perpendicular to the, uh, to the direction of travel of the AMRAMS and just popping chaff, which really doesn't work for sidewinders. Um... Anyway, both sets of craft now should be on to the old uh, the old sidewinders as um, as I mentioned previously. So this should get interesting. Yeah, I think Daffy Kerman probably has a couple of sidewinders incoming. There comes one of them. You can't fly straight and level like that, Daffy, when you've got sidewinders incoming. Yeah, and she's now dust. Jebediah Kerman, though, loosing a couple of sidewinders of his own. Did he just manage to dodge a couple of them there? 
Oh dear, the other um, the other cheater equipped. Cyclone is 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 gone. Hmm. And now Jebediah down to his last two sidewinders, which he uh, she gets away. Oh, one of the um, one of the other cyclones is gone. And it's down to one on one. Oh no, it isn't. The uh, the panther equipped cyclone still had uh, still had a sidewinder or two left, so <laughs> that put pay to that. Okay, maybe not quite success as successful for the uh, for the cheater engines there, but as I said, I don't think that um, that version of the cyclone is going anywhere really. But uh, yeah, that will be all for today. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, please consider uh, liking, subscribing, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, maybe, possibly even popping over to Patreon and helping to support the channel if you feel like it. Um, I will be back with some more uh, BD Armory soon, but uh, until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.